In this video, I'm going to show you how to run the sale concept out of the stack Y flex in Madden 23. This is in the uh, Saints offensive playbook. If you guys want to get my entire Saints offensive ebook, the link's going to be in the description. Join the Patreon for just $10. You're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. The play we're taking a look at today is Salem Pivot, one of my favorites uh, for attacking both man and zone coverage. It's actually really simple to set up. All we're going to do to, to make this play effective is just simply streak the left side receiver. That's it. And then if you want to, you can take your running back and you can put him on an in route. Um, or you could put the running back on a wheel and drag the tight end. Kind of up to you how you want to uh, wrap, you know, wrap up the concept here uh, with whatever you want to do. But what I want to show you is, number one, this route to... Julian Edelman if they don't have safety help which right there I did have safety help but if they don't have safety help in their man in their press man to man coverage what you'll notice here is that this route should be a touchdown um, because he does have short out elite I would really recommend as many short out elites as possible because it makes it so that your opponent really can't live in a press man world and the reason for that is because now they have to have safety help over the top if they're going to press well, if they have safety up over the top when they're pressing you, then your C route should be wide open. Now, I want to show you something else you can do with this to make this play even better. So on the play stock, it does have a C route, as you can see. I would recommend go ahead and re-hot route the C route. Um, you can just simply re-hot route the C route. And what you'll see with doing that is he will get a lot more separation, a lot cleaner. Um, as you can see here, of course, as I say that he gets bumped, but you can kind of get the ball up and over the top of the player. So if they're if they're gonna live in that press man to man style of defense, I really love this play to attack that because you know the C route should be a massive play. If it's not there, you can throw the in route backside, as you can see right here. Another thing that's really good is most people in this year's game are running some type of nickel defense. You will get some 146, but they're not going to be pressing out of 146 um, or like dollar. What do I mean by pressing? I just mean they're not going to press a tight end. If the tight end is not pressed, um, his route, for the most part, freeform down outside, you can hit that uh, pretty consistently. So just kind of keep that in mind. You do have that route. Um, if they are going to press you, you can just leave the default C route. I do think it actually might be a little better against, against that. Um, as you can see there, he just gets that clean light up animation. Um, I don't know how, I don't know how Calvin actually played that, but he gets that clean light up animation over the middle. We know how inconsistent man is this year. I'm not going to like spend a ton of time on that. Um, another little setup that I like to run though is drag the tight end and wheel the back out of the backfield. What this does is it gives you potential big play on the left side. Again, just freeform this outside to the C route. It's going to be pretty good. Now, the reason that I like this other the reason that I like the, to put the hot route, C route, is really for zone. Um, this play is incredible against zone. So what you'll see is the, if, if you re-hot route this route, the C route, to uh, Christian Kirk, what's going to happen is it's just going to run a little bit deeper, and it's going to really get in a soft spot against a lot of zone defenses. As you can see right there, it just kind of runs itself into um, about 30 yards downfield. So it kind of creates this natural – like sale concept within the play. Now the beauty of this is you can leave the default C route. The problem with the default C route is if you watch how deep it runs, it does kind of get over cover too, but I will just say like it doesn't always, and it takes a little longer to get depth. So just keep that in mind. Um, if they're not pressing you in man to man coverage, this play is unstoppable. I mean, it's so good. Um, you'll see here, this C route will be pretty consistent at lighting up for you and you could just freeform it to the outside just like that. Now, the hot route master C route is, I think, significantly better against off-man coverage or just not jammed. If the off, if the if that doesn't get pressed, you'll see here, I mean, he just basically high ball and freeform up and over the defender, and as you can see, super effective route for attacking man coverage. So like I said, now they have to drop zones, they have to provide help, and then what this does is it leaves your backside open. And your backside can, you can do two different things. You can either block your running back 
or you can drag Daniels and wheel your running back just like this. What this does though, is it just opens up this middle space right in there, as you can see. If they don't have a KO ability, that's gonna be a pretty good route for you against man to man. Um, so again, back to zone coverage for just a second. Against like a baseline press cover for drop, which a lot of you guys will probably see, this streak is gonna clear out space and then you're just going to wait for this thing to run underneath it, as you can see right here. Just super good. Hopefully the ball doesn't go through his hands, um, you know, but you see the guy's wide open. I mean, just super effective against any zone. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to put the Hot Rod Master C right out there. Against, um, I just like to because I do think it is better, especially against off coverage. Uh, it just gets better separation against man. But anyways, in the, in the off coverage, against press coverage, you don't want to put the Hot Rod Master C right out there. Anyway, um, so now what we're going to funnel them into, and I'm going to jump back out and go grab some zone drops. We're going to funnel them into a double flat coverage to the left. They have to double flat to the left to stop this. Typically, what a double flat coverage is going to entail is they're probably going to have a 30-yard cloud, and they're going to have a 5-yard curl flat. So it looks something like this. Okay. Um, if you watch how this play develops... This C route you'll see here, 30 yards, kind of hangs with it, as you can see, and is able to take this away, for the most part. You can high point it in different points. I'll show you real quick. So, like, if it's cover two and they are double flatting, what you can do with this play is you can throw the ball right in that little pocket right there. It's a little soft spot in any kind of double Mabel zone you can throw. So they have to – they automatically have to run to the to that side of the field. Uh, practically speaking, they do. They just have to run over to that side of the field. So their user is probably going to be over in this area to take this away. So what this does, and this is why I really like to you know potentially run a little drag route to my tight end or something like that, is it just opens up the backside where we can throw that in the middle of the field. So I think this play does a really good job against a lot of different looks, a lot of different zones. Um, let me show you one other thing about the C route just in terms of depth. So if we want the C route to get a little more depth, the best way to do that is to use the Hot Route Master C route. So here's the Hot Route Master C route. Let's see what kind of depth that can get. You see here, if I freeform that up, it's still going to be kind of tight. Um, and so, you know, you're at the end of the day, the 30-yard cloud is going to be able to kind of get the depth it requires uh, to stop that. But then we can go to things like fade out and just streak this player, streak this uh, Christian Kirk, and this fade route will just crucify cover two. As you see right here, just destroys uh, cover two. And we'll talk about that a different day. But the beauty of this is we funnel them into a double flat defense, and then they have to now adjust to the things that we can call that are going to be very effective against double flat defenses. So this is my favorite little flood concept out of the stack wide flex. I think that it's a super underrated way to attack the sidelines because you're able to beat man and zone really, really well from this formation. So thanks for watching the video. And if you want to get our entire Saints offensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon. The link to sign up for that is in the description.